Hello and welcome to another beginner scripting tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this rotating part. Anyways, let's get into it. Anyway, before I start today's video, remember to like and subscribe. It's completely free and only takes two clicks. Anyways, to begin, I'm just going to create a part. And I'm going to move it wherever I want. If you don't want to fall down be affected by gravity, go up here and click Anchor. Now I'm just going to size it however I want. You could color it and change the material, but that's completely up to you. Now I'm going to select it, press the plus icon, and click on script. Then I'm just going to create my first variable, which will refer to the the part itself. All right, script parent here because uh, script is referring to the script object itself, and the parent is the object that it is under. So. I know how, like, in most of my videos, I use a template, but since this script is so short, I just want to skip all the formalities. Anyways, now I'm going to create a uh, speed for it. I generally use uh, 75 for something like this, because it's not too slow, but it's not too fast. Especially since, I know many people would probably be using this for an obby, and it'd just be easier for somebody to stick on to something like this. And, um, now I'm going to do this, C-frame. Now, angles, and I know many people are CC from the angles, use like something like this. But what this is doing is it localizes the function so when we call it continuously, it's not going to cause a ton of lag. Now, I'm going to do game, get service, run service, dot heartbeat, connect function, dt, and dt stands for delta time, which is basically the time in between each frame, so we can regulate its spinning based on the frame rate of the server. And heartbeat is an event that is fired um, prior to each frame being rendered. And now I can do is local spin equals math.py divided by, and I'm going to do parentheses because we're doing um, PEMDAS format in Roblox, 100 divided by speed, and this should give us the um, correct rotation, so that's good. And you also want to um, multiply this by delta time so that it's regulated based off the frame rate. Now I can do part dot c frame equals part dot c frame times c fang, which is basically just going to be calling c frame dot angles. I'm gonna do zero zero spin. Now if I exit out of my script and I go up to the top and hit this little thing with a person on it that which would create play test which is just an environment in which we could test our game and see if everything's working. You'll see that it is rotating on its x-axis at the correct speed and relative to the frame rate. And that's good. It's functioning well. And now um, it is actually possible to rotate this on multiple axes at once, or just a different axis. So let's say I want it to rotate on both the X and Z axis, then I'd put spin here as well. So, if I exit my script once again, and playtest, you can see that this is, in fact, rotating on two axes. Kind of like rotating an X pattern, or something like that. However, typically in games that have spin parts, you're using it more than once, especially since I imagine you'd be using this for an obby of some sort. You're probably going to be using it more than once. So what I'm going to do is create a folder. So I can create a script that basically just goes through every single part in this folder and applies that kind of spin thing to um, each one. So I'm going to select my part, I'm going to drag it into this folder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to name the folder spin parts. And I'm going to go into the script and I'm just going to copy this code. Not the part or speed or anything. Just going to uh, copy this so that we could use it in the main control script. I can delete this script because we don't need it anymore. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select service, script service, press that plus icon, and create a new script. I'm going to call this spin 
parts handler. Uh, made typo. Okay, now what I'm going to do is since this is more a little bit formal and advanced, I guess I will use the template. I'm going to do services. We're going to need the run service, of course. And um, variables. I could have a uh, local spin parts equals workspace. Wait for child uh, spin parts. Local speed equals 75. Now I could copy and paste this. And just for the sake of the template, I'll do localization here. Connections. And I'll replace this with run service. So now that we have it in our new script, I could just make the part that actually, you know, um, applies it to each part in the folder. So what I'm going to do is create a for loop, for underscore part in pairs, spin parts, get children, do. And what get children does is it creates a table of all the parts are in that folder. I'm just going to select this uh, snippet of code and drag it into here so that it fits the new system. And I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to exit script, play test, and see if everything works. So as you can see, it does actually work. Now, um, to prove this concept even more, I'm going to duplicate the part a couple times by pressing Control D and see if it will apply the effect to every single one of these parts. And it does, and they're completely in sync. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, remember to like and subscribe. It takes no time and it's completely free. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.